To Cuba now, where Pope Benedict used his last day there to urge the government to allow for more personal and religious freedom. The Pope made the call during a mass he celebrated in Havana's Revolution Plaza, and it's a message he repeated later in a meeting with Fidel Castro. Our Paul Hunter is in Cuba tonight. Paul. Peter, how's this for a three-day visit? Poke and prod this country's government, hold a couple of open-air masses, and then sit down for a chat with Fidel Castro. Such was Pope Benedict's quick trip to Cuba. Considering it's Latin America's least Catholic country, it was a warm hello for Pope Benedict this morning in Havana. The Pope Mobile scooted through a crowd of flag waving, phone cam snapping faithful on his mission promoting Catholicism in a land that was for years officially atheist. On stage, Benedict thanked the Cuban government for its recent steps increasing religious freedoms, but with Cuban President Raul Castro looking on, Benedict pressed for more. This must continue forward, he urged the Cuban leadership. Strengthen what you have achieved. Welcome words for the Catholic faithful, but it was a tough crowd. Many started leaving the square, even with the Pope still talking. Still, others were grateful Benedict had also earlier pressed for greater economic and political reform. We need those changes and we need them fast, this man told us. We're tired of waiting. The government has to take an interest in it, he says. Cuba was quick to underline this week that no matter what the Pope says, political reform here is a non-starter. Fodder, perhaps, for Benedict's final meeting in Havana this afternoon with that other Castro, Fidel. Revolutionary turned devoutly non-religious, now retired one-party ruler, frail and aging, the very symbol of Cuba's decades-long distance from Catholicism. They chatted for half an hour, described as serene, animated, cordial, intense. When Castro noted they were both old men, the Pope is said to have replied, I may be old, but I can still do my job. As the Pope got set to fly home, he made one final public statement aimed at the Cuban leadership, urging faster progress on more freedoms for all Cubans, underlining that in the end, Peter, it's about dignity. Paul Hunter in Havana, Cuba tonight. Thanks, Paul.